Today we're going to be looking at a question from a viewer regarding uh, in the Blender game engine, his uh, character is bouncing off other objects. And I'm going to show you quickly how to fix that in both Blender 2.5 and Blender 2.4. So here we are in 2.5 first off. We're going to click up here where it says Blender Render and we're going to go to Blender Game because it's going to be a game engine. And we'll go up here to the presets and we'll click Game Logic. I'm also going to drag down so we have two views here. Set this one here to my camera view. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit spacebar up here and I'm going to add a plane. That was already there because I had already searched that earlier. If not, just type plane and it should come up. I'm going to hit S to scale. Scale our plane, one on the number pad to go into front view, G and then Z to move this down on the Z axis. Okay, so we have our ground, we have an object here. I hit 7 on the nerve pad to go back up in the top view and shift D to clone that cube. We're going to leave the second cube as a static cube. This cube here is going to be our player. So what we're going to do is over here we're going to go to our physics window and we're going to make it a rigid body. It can be rigid or dynamic depending on uh, what you're looking for there and I have done a video on the difference between them but I'm going to pick rigid because that causes, causes an additional problem that I want to look at here. Now I'm going to add an actuator and it is going to be um, a keyboard press. Click here, I'm going to hit the right arrow. I'm going to add here and add an actuator here and we are going to uh, choose a simple motion. So motion, simple motion. We have our location here, X, Y, and Z. We want to move on the X axis plus point 0.1 every time we hit the right arrow key. We'll connect that up. So now let's have a look at this. I'll hover over the 3D window here and press P on my keyboard. When I press right arrow, you can see when we hit the other object, we kind of get pushed away by it and we flip. But the reason we're flipping like that is because we're a rigid object. Easy way to fix that is in this physics window, scroll down, choose Collision, collision bounds. And you have different bounds options here. The default is box, which is what we want. But you have different shapes here. And just when you choose a different bounds, just think of this as, in this case, a box is the collision damage around it. You can pick sphere and imagine a invisible sphere being your collision damage around an object. So uh, in most cases, you're probably going to pick box. If you pick sphere, you would roll away again. But let's cover our mouse over here and hit P again, right arrow. And we don't roll away, but we're still being pushed away. So let's fix that. All we have to do, once again, the physics window here. We're going to scroll. Where am I looking for here? Oh, here we are. Dampening. And we're going to turn this dampening all the way up. And now that will dampen the push off the other object. Start the game up again. Hit the right arrow. And you can see... It doesn't really push me away anymore. Doing the same thing in Blender 2.4, I've already got this scene set up. Once again, I'll hit P. When I hit right arrow, ooh, I roll away. Okay, we'll escape to get out of that. We'll add bounds, and it's a box. Okay, still getting pushed away, but we're not rolling away. And right here we have damp, and we'll turn damp all the way up to one. Press P. And you can see we're not getting pushed away. So that is how you can use dampening to prevent your object or player from being completely pushed off the level by another object. Uh, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day. The link's in the description.